Okay, in this video, we're going to go over your uh, Azon Empire version 9 uh, Superstore, um, and this is for the OTO purchase, and uh, so we're going to just kind of go over it just a little bit, and I'm going to show you what um, some of the things that uh, you will uh, need to do um, when you, uh, after you install your Superstore site. So one of the first things that we uh, will need you to do is, or what you're uh, going to do, is go to Pages and click on All Pages. And within these pages, this is where you're going to go in and uh, click on the About page, and you're going to fill out your About page content, um, what you want uh, your site to be about, or, or just whatever text you want to, or whatever content you want to put on your About page. You're going to do the same thing for the Contact page. Now, the Disclosure Policy um, is going to be your Amazon um, Disclosure, okay? And uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, the privacy and sitemap you can leave alone. Okay, so once you get those updated, um, you're ready to go on to the next step. Um, the next thing you're going to do is go to users and you're going to go to your profile. Okay, now this is where you're going to enter in your information. Okay, you're also going to enter in your own email, which would be your administration email and I do recommend changing the password to a new password that you choose and then click on update profile next we're going to go down to settings and we are going to go down to WP Amazosiate on the general settings this is where you want to fill in your information Okay, now you can uh, uh, use, use the footer, um, but what I would do is once you fill in your information, click on Save Settings, copy this short code, go back to your pages, and go back to your disclosure page, and then just paste that disclosure in, and then update your page. The next thing you're going to do is go to your all-in-one SEO. You want to make sure this is enabled. You're going to um, take out this information, okay? So you'll just delete it. You'll delete all this information and then delete all this information. And you're going to put in your own home uh, description of your, of your site, okay? Fill all this out and then go down and click on Update Options. making sure you put in a home title, your description, and your keywords for your site. Next thing you can do is go to WordPress Ping Optimizer. And you want to make sure that all of your ping sites are here. Now if they're not here, you're going to take the ping site list that um, is on your download page and copy that list and just paste it in this box. Okay? And that would be if you do not have any of these. Um, the only one would be here with the Pingomatic. Then you want to check on Enable Pinging. Then you also want to check on Limit Excessive Pinging. And then you want to click on Save Settings. The next thing you're going to do is come down to WP Zon Builder. And then you're going to click on AWS and AFS settings. You want to enter in your uh, Amazon access key, your secret access key, and then you're going to click here and enter in your own Amazon ID, and then you're going to click here to save the changes. Now after you click to save the changes, you're going to then scroll down to this box and you're going to put in your Amazon ID right here and then you're going to click on change associate IDs and that's going to change your associate IDs throughout your site. After you do that, 
um, you want to go ahead and open up your site and click on some of the uh, uh, affiliate links or buy links and make sure your uh, Amazon ID was put in successfully. If you find that your ID was not put in successfully or um, it's not put in on all of them, um, go ahead and go to tools, go to search and replace. In this box, you would do a search for your ID slash 20 and replace with your Amazon ID and then you want to click on go. After that completes, you want to scroll down. You want to click this button that says all. You want to do the same thing here. Search for your ID slash 20 and replace with your Amazon ID and click on go. Remember, you only need to do this step if the uh, before step did not work. Now I'm going to show you how to make new posts um, into your store. Now we use Zon Builder on this, so what you would do is click on Add to Queue. Now you want to make sure you know what um, category that you want to post in. Okay. You can look at your categories by, by going under Post and clicking on Categories. Now there's 90 something categories on this site. So you'll see there's over five pages, five pages of categories. If you want to make a new post, simply go to Zon Builder, Add to Queue. You can check your search category for this site. It's going to be Pet Supplies. You can choose your sort order, featured items, best selling, low to high, high to low, and then just simply put in your keyword. Now right here where it says view filtering options, you can open that up. You can choose your price range so that it only pulls products back with the price that you choose. You can also check to only show products with images. You can also check to only show products with availability information. And then you simply get products. So for this example I'm just going to check only show products with images and then I'm going to click on get products. Now it's going to bring back a, a group of products. Now you can individually select products to add to your queue. So let's say you wanted this product, you can just simply click on add to queue. And what that will do is put it up in this box. Now if you want to um, select a group of these at one time you can click right here where it says add first number results to the queue. So for this example we're not going to um, add any more to the queue. We got one in there so now it's time to post that product. You would simply click on post products. Here you can choose the category and you will find every category you need. You can put it under cats or even some of the subcategories that you see here. So let's just choose cats. Now once you choose your category, you can scroll down. Now, when, before you cl uh, click the button to post, I do recommend that you check this box so that you don't have any duplicate products being posted. And then just simply click here to post and it will post all of your products to your site. Okay, let's take a look at your site. Right up here you will see your discount finding area. This is built into your theme. So let me show you where that's at just real quick. Go back and go to Appearance and go to Nice Zone Theme Options.
on this area you're going to click on affiliate settings right here where it says Amazon affiliate ID you want to put in your own Amazon affiliate ID this is for Amazon.com Canadian UK so fill it in according to um, what um, you need now let's take a look, take a look at your um, banner ads you have a banner ad here one here and one here then you have a widget here let's go ahead and talk about the uh, banner ads if we look back in our options and if you click on ad management you can see that I do not have the uh, header ad which is a 468 by 60 enabled that is by choice but you can enable that ad and put the ad code right here the next one is your 728 by 90 ad now it is actually enabled and I don't know why it's saying no because that is the ad right here and you want to paste your own Amazon code over this for the 728 by 90 ad or you can simply put in your own Amazon ID over this one that's already here the left ad the 160 by 600 is right here and you would do the same thing for it either get your own code for your own Amazon banner ad or put your own Amazon ID over this one now sometimes when you do that it breaks the ad so you may have to go back and get your own ad anyway this is for the 300 by 250 which is right here do the same thing with it get your own ad or put your ID in place of this one then you want to click on save settings now we're going to take a look at where you will find this widget if you go back to um, um, your admin and your admin and click on appearance and then you want to click on widgets this ad or this widget is on the sidebar right and it's under this text widget so you would click this little arrow down to open the widget and what you would do is go through here locate all of the instances of only the best 23 slash 20 and replace with your Amazon ID there's going to be three places that you will need to do that again if when you do this when you replace that ID with your own Amazon ID if it breaks the widget you will need to go to Amazon Associates and get your own slide Amazon slideshow uh, widget code and place it in here note that the Amazon slideshow, slideshow widget is 300 by 250 and then you want to simply uh, click on save and that will pretty much get you going on your Amazon store we are not using Extendazon and we're not going to use WP Turbo for this store let me move that over so extend is on and WP turbo is not used now the rest of the plugins are going to be promotion plugin plugins that um, we give instructions for on the download page so this will get you going on your store and I hope it works out for you and uh, thank you so much